Hello everyone, Atomic here, and I invented something that I'm calling the Hopper Hard Drive. Basically, it stores information in minecarts for use in a redstone computer, but you, I'm sure it has other applications that you could use it for. Anyway, what happens here is I have items stored in these minecarts, and every item in there is one bit of information. So I'll show you what happens. Minecarts come on down here, they unload all their items into these hoppers. If there's a piece of white wool, it goes ahead and sets this signal off, and it stores it in the output, and with same with orange wool, and with magenta wool, and onward. And then, once it goes through the reading system, all that wool comes back here into this hopper and chest, and these powered rails are only powered if this hopper is empty. So when it's waiting up here, the first piece of white wool comes back in there to get ready to make these power rails off for when the rail... Once the minecart comes down here, then the hopper will fill it up. And then if we selected we only want it to read off the hopper, the hopper takes this rail line and heads back to its storage location. But if we want to write off of the hopper, it comes over here, sets off this pressure plate, and then goes... Sit, and then sits right here on this power... Uh, powered rail where the items are taken off and put into storage for future writing. And when this hits the power rail, if an item has been selected to be put into the minecart, that's when it goes ahead and hits the dropper that has the items in it, and then puts it into this hopper and this chest, and the same thing over here. I just had to uh, design... whoops, that was... fix that. And again, the same thing, if this hopper is empty, then this mi then these rails will be on. So as soon as it passes over that pressure plate, plate rail, it goes ahead and gets the data ready to write onto the minecart, and then sends it on its way back towards its storage spot. So I'll show you this system in action right now. Let's see. Did I have anything written onto this bit? I think I did. There we go. I know this bit is clear. I haven't used it yet. So let's see. I'm going to want to read and write. And I'm going to write, want to write 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. How's that? Eh, I'm going to add one more 1 at the end, just to show you it all works. Let's see. We've got it set to read and write. This is set. The output is clear. And we've got our address selected, so get cart. Here comes the minecart. Heads over here, and if it had anything in it, it would, it which it doesn't because it's empty right now, it would get read and put onto the output. And then it's going to come down here, and since it doesn't have anything, any items to get put back on it, it just zooms along into the writing section. And if it had any items on it, it would it would get pulled out of here to be recycled into these droppers. You just have some item sorters over here. So then it comes down here to get all the items written onto it. And I will show you that there are items written onto it as soon as I can catch this thing. There it is. You saw it for a half a second that it had those items already on it. And that was one of the minecarts at the back, so it takes a minute. So now we are going to select read only. And so, of course, then our writing doesn't matter because, you know, it's read-only right now, so it will just, right at that point, head straight back around. And to show you that this works, we are now going to get the cart. And it will write what is in that cart onto the output. Here it comes. And I believe that is the pattern that we selected. The 11011001. And then the minecart's heading back around. It's getting the items that were on it put back in it. So as you can see, this hopper down here is going to be empty. And this chest. So now, the information is right now just stored. The If there's a piece of white wool, white wool, whether or not there is, that's one bit of information. Same with orange and magenta and everything. But I could store more information on it if the order that those items are in the chest mattered, but that would be a lot harder to read and write to. 
So for right now, this is just a proof of concept. It's just using whether or not the items are actually in the chest to store information. Now, we could also have tons of unique items with anvil naming, and then have absolutely tons of readers to see, and we could store even more information that way. Well, we... hmm... Yes, actually, I think we could store a lot of information that way. But it would take a big reading system to have tons of different types of named items, and then... Well, take my word, you could store a lot of information that way. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and reset our output, and then we're going to go through one more test demonstration. I don't even remember what I stored here on this first bit, or on the first minecart, but we are currently set to read only. Let's see what I stored on that. Here it comes, since it's the first cart, it comes the fastest. And what did I have stored on this? Alright, so I had that, that, and that stored on that minecart. Okay, then that's going to go ahead and recycle around. Whenever we're done reading this, we can go ahead and reset the output. And I think that's... well, that shows you the basics of it. Hmm, I might do a more in-depth video later, but this is just a proof of concept for showing how to store information on a minecart and then read it. So I might do... well, first, before I end the video, I'm going to show off this, um the address system and the minecart storage system. Basically, I have used a similar system to this before a long time ago, but it could only store one bit, and that was before hoppers and everything. So as you can see, whenever... hmm... how should I describe this? Well, each one of these addresses has a certain number attached to it, and whenever you type in that number, it that address becomes active, like you can see on this first bit. Whenever the address becomes active, this in an AND gate, well, hmm, I should describe that a little bit better. When an address is active and the button is pushed, the mi it activates this AND gate and the minecart gets sent down. As you can see, it worked, because you already saw it a few times. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, if you guys... Leave a comment if you want a more in-depth description of how this works, if you want to build one for yourself. And yes, if you were actually using a Minecraft computer, you would want to have 27 unique items and make this reading system just extend more that way to be able to get all the items in it. And the same with the writing system. And you would need to make some tweaks to some repeaters if you're going to extend how many items are in each minecart. But that concludes this video. If you're confused, send a, leave a comment or send me a PM. Alright, and I will see you guys next time. This has been Atomic. Goodbye.